Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub. And today I want to do a quick video highlighting a new feature inside Screaming Frog. They just did a, a recent update and it has a pretty cool feature that's going to help you for internal linking on any of your sites. Before I do that though, make sure you head over to the seopub.com. If you haven't already, sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week right to your inbox. You can also click on the link here to join our free Slack community. If you're interested in asking questions, talking about SEO, we have a lot of great SEOs in there. It's a free community you can join. And if you want to learn more about how I can help your site grow, head over to clickconsulting.com, click on the request for proposal button, and that'll get that process started. All right, so let's dive into Screaming Frog. And Screaming Frog, one of the new features that they released in this update is it'll analyze engrams inside of your content of any any URL that you crawl. Engrams, if you're not familiar with them, they're a continuous block of words, word or words inside a piece of text. And they can you can have one grams, bigrams, trigrams, and go even further where a one gram is just a word. A bigram is two words, so it's any cases of those two words showing up together within the text. Trigram would be three words, or it'd be any cases of those three words showing up together in the text. And they can be used for analyzing content and what the content's about. Uh, a lot of people will use them sort of, sort of like entities in, within content to analyze pieces of content. But within Screaming Frog, what you can use this for is finding internal link opportunities. A couple months ago, I did a video about using Screaming Frog's custom search function to find internal link opportunities. This is actually a much easier way now to do the same thing. What you need to do is, inside Screaming Frog, go to configuration and pull up the extraction option here. And you have to make sure that these two options are checked, the store HTML and store rendered HTML. Make sure both of those are checked. And then you just do a crawl like you normally would. Now I already did a crawl to save some time of a company called Taskade. I did a crawl of their blog. Taskade is a AI productivity tool. It's pretty awesome. If you haven't ever used it, go check it out. Um, they have a free version so you can get started with it. It's an awesome tool. Anyhow, what you can do then is once you have this these pages crawled, you can select any page you want and there's a little menu down here. Make sure you select engrams and it will pull up these boxes. And what it will do is it'll show you the engrams that show up in the content. Now these are the one grams. So it's just single words, but let's change it. Let's say we wanted three grams and it'll pull up all these three word phrases that show up on this piece of content. And you can do four grams, five grams, six grams. And it'll pull up and it'll tell you how many times they show up. So what you can do with this for internal links is, let's say I was writing a new piece of content for Taskade. I'm going to select all the blog posts. And I'm going to change this to, we're going to do a three gram. Um, let's say I was writing a post about agile project management. So I could go through here and search for it, or you can just type it in here. So agile project management and it'll pull up. So it pulls up all of these and what it's showing here is all, all these posts contain agile project management and it'll tell you how many times they show up there. You can take this a, a step further and you can actually change this to unlinked. And what that means is it'll only show cases where agile project management shows up in the content and is not currently being used as part of a hyperlink. So these are all cases where that word shows up and could be potentially linked to my new piece of content about agile project management. So super easy way now to find internal link opportunities for your content. And you could change this too, like if we're doing agile project management, um, maybe I just wanted to do agile management or agile projects. Um, I can you know look for any other additional anchor text that I want and include those also over here. So again, just a super easy way to find internal link opportunities on any site that you're working on. All right, that's it for this video. Again, if you wanna learn more about how I can help your sites grow, head over to clickconsulting.com and make sure that you sign up for the newsletter at the SEO Pub and I'll catch everyone in the next video.